Hello students, welcome back. The question is from gate 1990 exam. It's for 5 marks. Those days gate exam was a theoretic exam. But nowadays you can expect MSQs or MCQs on such questions. And uh, they'll be for maximum of 2 marks. Okay. Yeah, this question can be asked for 2 marks. So let us have a look at the statement. For the synchronous counter shown in figure, write the truth table of Q0, Q1 and Q2 after each pulse. Starting from Q0 is equal to Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to 0 and determine the counting sequence and also the modulus of counter. Okay, you can see we need to determine counting sequence of this counter in which all the three flip flops used are JK flip flops. I have written the function table for uh, JK flip flops. Now you can see if you try to analyze this flip flop the 0th flip flop if value of this OR gate is 0 the output of OR gate is 0 JK will be 0 1 okay 0 1 means reset that means irrespective of the previous value of Q0 the next value of Q0 will be 0 only because we are trying to reset it whenever this OR gate outputs 1 in that case the value of J and K will be 1 1 and you very well know on 1 1 we invert the output okay if current value of q0 is 1 and jk is also 1 1 that means invert the next output will be 0 because we'll invert 1 and get a 0 okay so let us write the output first of all when will this or get output 1 let us see it is or of q1 and q2 q1 and q2 that means here 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 and here at all of these places or of q0 sorry q1 and q2 is 1 okay you can see at all of these places just except for this 0 0 and this 0 at all other places or will be 1 and at 1 1 we will invert q0 okay the output of this flip-flop will be inverted so that is q0 that means you have to invert this 0 and write a 1 this one will also become 1 this one will also become 1 similarly all of these three will be inverted and will write a 0 okay now let us have, uh, see what happens when output is 0 at this and this place when output is 0 0 and 1 means reset okay so the output of this q0 or the 0th flip-flop will be 0 in these two cases so write 0 here and 0 here we need not even care what was the previous output see 0 also turned into 0 and 1 also turned into 0 okay so next let's analyze this flip-flop okay the value of k for this flip-flop is q0 bar that means inverse of q0 so let us find inverse of q0 so i have found out the inverse of q0 that is the value of k for this flip-flop that's the reason i've written k here now let's find out what will be j j is same as q2 okay so i'm copying q2 here that is 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 these are the values of j and k for this flip flop for the first flip flop okay you can see 0 1 means reset that means output q1 will be 0 in case of 0 1 so i'm writing 0 here here also it is 0 1 that means 0 and uh, yeah that's it i guess yeah now in case of 1 1 the value will get inverted whatever was the previous value will invert it previous value is 0 i'm inverting it and writing a 1 here here also previous value is 1 i'm writing 0 here and yeah that's it now whenever the value is 0 0 in this case you very well know the previous output will remain as it is there will be no effect of clock 
we will be in latch stage uh, latch state that means the output will remain as it is so we have a zero zero here this zero will remain as it is okay similarly this output it's one it will remain as it is okay now this is one zero in case of one zero the output will be one irrespective of previous output okay so i'm writing a one here now let us analyze this one this is also a jk flip-flop and you can see k is always one okay so let us make k one So k is 1 and the value of j needs to be determined. j is q0 bar, see q0 bar and q1 bar, q0 bar and q1 bar will be equivalent to nor, okay, so this will be q0 or q1 whole bar, okay, that's applying De Morgan's law. That means it is nor of q0 and q1. Q0 and Q1's nor. First of all, let's find or of these two. Okay. So here, 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 at this place also and at this place. At all of these places, or is going to be 1. Nor will be invert, uh, inverted or that means 0. So at all of these places, I'm writing a 0. So we have found out the values of J and K for this flip-flop. Now let's see what happens when we give a clock. See when values of j and k are 1, 1. Whenever you give a clock, this q2 will be inverted. Whatever was q2 will just invert it. In this case, q2 is 0, you'll invert it and get a 1. Here also you'll invert it and get a 0. See 1 is inverted to get a 0. Next we have 0, 1. 0, 1 means reset. Okay. So reset means the output will be 0. At all of these places, the output that you are going to get is 0. Okay, so this is the truth table. Now let us find out the counting sequence. Counting sequence will be, if you are on state 0 and you give a clock, you will go to state 1. 0 goes to 1. Whenever you are on state 1 and you give a clock, you will go to state 6. 1 goes to 6. Now where is 6? We have it here. 6 goes to 2. Okay. The next one is 2. 2 goes to 4. 4. Now let us see what happens when you give a clock on state 4. This is 4. When you give a clock, it will go back to 0. Okay. Like this. So this is the counting sequence for the given flip-flop. Okay. Now you can see 7 is left. 7 and 5 are left. 7 goes to 2 and 5 also goes to 2. 7 goes to 2. 5 goes to 2. So 0, 1, 2, 3 is also left. Let us see what happens on 3. 3 goes to 4. Okay. So this is 3. State 3 will go to state 4 whenever you give a clock. Okay. This is the counting sequence. Yeah. So now let's determine the mod value of this counter when you begin from state 0, 0, 0. That means this state. You can see we have five states in this loop. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Then you'll come back again to this state only. Okay. So you keep on looping between these five states. That means the mod value of the counter is five. Okay. So your answer is five. This one is a mod five counter. And this is the counting sequence. Okay.